Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 25th of June and this time I have some rather interesting news regarding Intel as according to a slide which has been posted by Benchlife. Skylake, sorry, Intel are planning to launch their Skylake Refresh platform, which will be codenamed KB Lake, in 2016. Now, according to the information posted, the platform will be similar to Skylake, which of course launches this year, and will essentially serve as the platform refresher, while their 10NM node will mature and arrive the same year on mobility devices in the Canon Lake lineup of processors. Now, just like Broadwell and Haswell and a few other things, and of course the upcoming Skylake, KB Lake will be available in several flavours. The desktop KB Lake S series will be featuring unlocked and locked processors along with server and workstation parts. There will also be KB Lake U, KB Lake H, KB Lake Y series, which will power a range of devices. Now this news kind of seems a bit strange, but it does heavily imply at least that Intel are actually going to go ahead with their roadmap and delay their 10NM process based Canon Lake processors. Now it's pretty unlikely that we're going to see Canon Lake before Q4 2016 in both the U series and Y series lineup and before then we can't really expect to see anything on the 10NM front and this of course does align with the previous roadmap that we got to see a few months back which did kind of state a similar date for Canon Lake and Skylake refresh platform launch. And as for KB Lake, the processor lineup will actually feature compatibility on existing 100 series motherboards featuring the LGA1151 socket. So that's kind of the rough overview for you there. But if you wanted a bit more information on each of the different flavours of the KB Lake processor, well, here they are. The KB Lake H series processor, which will have 256 megabytes L4E DRAM cache will be featured on the BGA1440 package with TDPs ranging from 45 to 35 watts and will have quad-core variants only with GT GT2 graphics or the PCH will be featured on the motherboard of the main device. Now there will also be a high-end model in the H series which will have a TDP that is higher than 45 watts but fuse faster GT4 graphics and will actually accommodate dual EDRAM packages of 128 megabytes. As for the Lake U series, it will be having a sorry, it'll be featuring on the BGA1356 package and have TDPs ranging from 15 watts up to 28. It will have two CPU cores and have a choice of GT2 and GT3 graphics core. And the SOC chips will have the KB Lake PCH integrated onto the main processor die itself. And as for the GT2 chips, they will have no EDRAM, but the GT3 chips will feature 64 megabytes of L4 cache to deliver higher bandwidth to the integrated graphics core. And moving on to the KB Lake Y series, and that's what we were getting in the first round on the BGA1515 package, and will feature a TDP all the way down to 4.5 watts, which is kind of what we're seeing on the Core M series CPUs, and we'll have dual core models of G2 GT2 graphics chips that will not accommodate any EDRAM cache and will feature a full SOC design. And if you want a good look at the slides that actually reveal this information, I will link the source in the description below this video and it actually shows all the packages, the base TDPs, the processor cores, the graphics configuration, on package cache and of course the platform type all in an easy to understand format so if you just want things laid out clearly you know which is which you know perhaps you're considering you or you're just curious and what the lowdown that's probably the best place to look i will as i said link the table that bench live actually posted in the description below this video for you to have a look if you just want to see it all there in black and white anyway that is me done for this video but thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time